Um, the movie is just, is just so funny, and you're working with these guys, especially like Jim and Steve, who are really well known for doing a lot of improv. Yeah. What is that world like on a set when you're working with people like that? It's fantastic. I mean, you know, making a film can at times be really uh, redundant and exhausting. Yeah. And when you're doing multiple takes from multiple angles, there's nothing more fun than having someone who's surprising you with new material and new ideas. Oh. So to have the chance to work with people who are such good uh, improvers, and I, I really think, you know, it wasn't just Steve and Jim. Steve Buscemi was great. Alan Arkin is, of course, really. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, as, as, as a founder of Second City and, and just a titan in this industry, he's really someone everyone on set looked up to. But I loved watching the choices that everyone was making, and they were really inspiring to me. I think I probably reached further because I was feeding off of their energy. Even where you are now as, as an actor, did, did, did you learn something from working with these people? Do you? Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I learned something from everyone. Um, sometimes I learn what not to do. <laughs> but on this one, it was, it was fantastic because I learned really how to be comfortable enough to take risks, to um, push yourself in every direction, to feel safe doing so, and how to be really professional. Because these guys, above all else, are true professionals. And that's why, you know, th the reason Jim Carrey is, is still where he is after 20 years of being a movie star right. is because he's really good at what he does. And he shows up prepared, and he shows up with ideas. And all these actors in this film make choices. And I think so often, uh, actors can get a little complacent and forget to make bold choices with their characters, make it yeah. their own. You're not just fulfilling uh, what's on the page. You know, Hitchcock wished that he could just put a script into a computer and come out with a film because mm -hmm. he just wanted actors to do what was on the page. Yeah. I say it's much more interesting to watch what happens when an actor brings choices to material. And, and this was a huge example of that for me. And, and lastly, even though this is it's just a hilarious comedy, there just seems to be like these beautiful underlying messages, especially with Jane as an example. Yes, yes. I think you've got to have that or else it's empty, it's meaningless. I think the film is about keeping a, a, a sincere um, love for, you know, for, for magic, but what we're really saying is like, Keep your mind open to wonderment. Allow yourself to oh. still be surprised and and to remember who you were as a child and what you dreamed of and and to not lose track of that because we can become so cynical. And uh, hopefully this is this is a love letter to that kind of beginner's mind. So it is, Olivia. Thank you so much. It was a beautiful movie. Thank I, you. I really appreciate it. It's so nice I'm to meet so you. I'm so glad too. you liked it.